Someone who really is just as much at home abroad as she is in this country is Sheila Van Dam, probably the world's fastest woman racing driver and winner of 26 international rallies. Now at the peak of her racing success, she is retiring to concentrate on a less hazardous but equally tough career in show business, preparing for the day when she will eventually take over the reins of London's Windmill Theatre from her father, Vivian Van Dam. Sheila may well have forgotten what an L plate looked like, and although an appropriate reflection on her new status, it strikes an incongruous note among some of her trophies and souvenirs that decorate the little office. The theatre introduced non-stop review for the first time in this country in 1932, when Sheila's father was general manager. Since then, he has introduced dozens of now famous film, radio and television stars to the public. But accustomed to photographs and mementos of other girls round the walls, he now finds it encouraging to see his own family's talent represented. Negotiating the stairs here is surely more dangerous than taking the corners on a racetrack. But Sheila takes it all in her stride, at least until she enters the woman's dream world, the wardrobe. For the benefit of interested men, the lovely girl being fitted with a ballet dress is dancer Carol Logan. For the benefit of the women, the lovely dress is one of 16,600 elaborate costumes produced by this department since it started. Mary Hall, the wardrobe mistress, has been here for 15 years. Each costume has to be perfect before it is passed by Van Damme, and a staff of 15 is required to make them, at an average rate of 60 for each successive show. The dancers work hard to attain the standard of grace and precision that is expected of them. A point Sheila can easily appreciate with the training she has had to put in to win grueling events like the Monte Carlo Rally and to gain titles like Women's European Champion 1954 to 55. Maisie Cryer, former Folly Berger and Zigfield girl, who creates and teaches the girls the 10 to 15 dance routines for each new show, explains a new number. A few tips on presentation and stage lighting from stage director Johnny Gale, who's been at the theatre since its beginning. Starting from scratch, there's a lot to learn, but Sheila has the spirit and determination that took her to the top in motoring. Good luck, Sheila.